Hello, welcome to Shad Life. I was on the trail this past weekend up in Cuyuna and I noticed when I was in my most common gears, which is like maybe three or four up from the bottom, that um, my chain would skip. So it was usually when I wanted to put down more power or stand up to get up speed to hit a jump, which was the one time it skipped on me and it kind of screwed up my ability to get enough speed to do the jump, so I had to like manual through it, right? But I realized, well, I have that uh, SRAM axis and it doesn't come out of alignment like a regular derailleur would, right? And it wasn't hit or anything like that and all the other gears shifted fine. So. Um, I want to show you something because if this happens to you, uh, I'll show you exactly what to look for because my chain and cassette are getting pretty old. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to look at your teeth and I can see already, I'm not even looking directly, I'm looking through the camera here, but I can see these ones. If you look up here, the ones that don't get used as much, see how tight that little kind of half circle is in there. All the teeth are gonna have weird shapes, so you can't really go by that unless you see like a consistent like shark tooth looking, looking thing. Well, if you look down here, you can start to kind of see more of a consistent shark shape, shark fin type thing or shark tooth, I think they might call it. But um, you can definitely see how these are much more worn than the other ones and as i said you know if we go one two three four right now five and six so it must have been five or six these ones that were slipping maybe this one was slipping too because that looks pretty worn out so this is a worn out cassette you can just literally look up the row and see how as i go up here these get a lot nicer you get down here and they're kind of a weird shape um and no no longer a nice perfect u so sometimes when your gears start acting up it's not because they're out of adjustment or anything like that it's simply because your cassette is worn so um i will have to replace this cassette shimano 12 speed um and while i do it i'll also need to replace the chain because the chain will generally wear in with the cassette and the chain is pretty old also so i'm just going to replace both of these and then it should be back to shifting perfectly so yeah look at that one <laughs> pretty wild so when your gears aren't properly working there's three main things that could be going on one it could be a simple adjustment needed usually with the little barrel adjuster at the shifter um and you know somebody that knows how gears work would know which way to do it generally you need to tighten it or turn it counterclockwise because the reason why your shifting is getting out of sync is because your cable's stretching or something's going on um and i just do one click at a time and then check my gears in one click at a time and if it gets starts getting worse then go the other direction one click at a time and check your gears right pretty easy to do on the fly while you're on the trail the second reason that it could be miss shifting is your derailleur got bent or your derailleur hanger got bent maybe you hit something maybe you laid your bike down on the derailleur side and it got pushed against something something like that and so everything's out of alignment and that needs to get straightened um that would be something i would recommend taking to a bike shop to have done so it gets properly taken care of um and then the third one is this stuff is just purely worn out the cassette is worn out the chain is worn and it's just got a lot of miles on it and it's worn out and i'm going to add a fourth 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 i forget how to count my fingers sometimes a fourth one would be it needs cleaning so i did add that just kind of on the whim um derailers and chains and uh cassettes are pretty impressive they can get pretty dear dirty and still work well especially modern higher end ones but you definitely want to lube the chain every once in a while and make sure your drivetrain gets cleaned every once in a while and so on and so forth. So just keep that stuff well lubricated and it'll work really well. And it'll also last longer and not get worn out as quickly. I lube my chain probably every other ride. That's how often I do it. And I use a more dry lube because I'm in the dirt a lot. So there you have it. Uh, 
So if you're having issues, these are usually the reasons. Uh, I appreciate your support for my channel. Please like and subscribe. Peace.